Hi everyone, this is Fortnon from Super User Project Dial. So I made an operating system called Rasdesk OS and I'm going to be showing you that in this video. So this is my GitHub page right here. I'll link to this in the description. There's also a link on my channel though. And so these right here, um, you can download this operating system with these links. So basically, this um, I basically installed some stuff, kind of customized it as well, and it's it's based on Raspberry Pi OS, but it has some things changed about it. So if you want to download with this link, you can click that link. It'll take you to Google Drive where you can download it. And so once you have downloaded it, which I haven't because I'm kind of running out of space here, um, what you want to do is you want to go to your Raspberry Pi imager. If you haven't downloaded that, I'll have a link in the description as well. You can download that from the Raspberry Pi Foundation page, or you can install it with the terminal if you're on a Raspberry Pi, which I am. So you want to do choose OS, and then you want to scroll down and do use custom, and you would want to select um, your file that you downloaded. It's going to be in a zip format. And so once you've selected that, then you want to plug in an SD card. So I'm just going to plug in like this SD card here. I'm going to put it in a USB reader and plug it in. And so it will show up right here. And so this has an operating system on it right now, but I think it's actually Raz Desk OS that's on there but that is how you flash it. So you click right, you enter your password and things like that. So I'm going to remove these right here and then I'm going to switch over to Raspdesk OS. So this is just gonna be the stock operating system except I will have to install Simple Screen Recorder, which is what I use to record my screen. So we will see you there. Okay, here we are in Raspdesk OS. So I'm going to show you around this operating system. And so the first thing that you will note is that this looks a little bit different than Raspberry Pi OS. And that is because of some customizations that I made. And so to finish setting this up, the first thing that you are going to want to do is double click this file and execute it. And so then this will bring up this setup screen that you would normally see in Raspberry Pi OS. And you want to go through there, you set things like your time zone, your keyboard layout, things like that. And then after that, we want to go to menu accessories terminal, and then we want to go and type sudo raspi-config. And then we want to expand our file system. And so we go to advanced options and then we want to do expand file system. And so then we can finish and I'm not going to reboot now. And so that will allow us to use our full file system. So this is kind of a large image because there is a lot of stuff installed. So you won't be able to use it on a super small card but that will expand it to whatever card size you have. Otherwise, you will be limited to not very much space. So right here, there is a readme file and then I have some stuff installed. So this is a big thing right here. This is a virtual machine. And so this is basically, you know, another system, but is it, it is a different architecture. And so these, we, we can run apps that aren't suited for ARM. And in here, there is another program where you can run Windows apps on Linux. And so you can run, you know, certain Windows apps on the Raspberry Pi without installing Windows, which is a thing that is kind of slow at the moment. If you ha are running from a micro SD card, if you're running from an SSD, it might be faster but still it's not going to be ideal. Raspberry Pi OS is always going to be a lot faster. And this is basically Raspberry Pi OS. It just has some stuff installed. So if we exit out of that, we can see we have our Snap Store and that is basically an app store. It's kind of like the Ubuntu software center, but I don't think it'll display in your applications list. So you might have to go to there, go to installed and launch your apps that way. Pi Apps is another kind of app store that I have installed here. And so that is 
a smaller thing but it has some really useful things so if we go to here I'll show you some highlights so I installed these office software I installed another browser this one's very fast and I'll get to that in a moment I don't have anything here other than a screen recorder you can install that and so that's not included I'm just recording my screen with it in graphics we have this which is like an open source alternative to Photoshop so it's completely free and everything and so this is like a paint program like paint and windows and I actually designed this wallpaper with it and then so that's that's about the highlights of these and so let's move on so I installed a new file manager so right here is a different file manager than normal you know it gives a little bar here indicating how much space you've used but it's kind of hard to see that especially on this screen but if you click on it then it's easier and so it's just a nice file manager like that so it has some things that are normally kind of harder to do you can you know change the layout here and so if we go into our browser right here we can go to my channel and so then this loads up very quickly and that was even through a link shortener so it's even quicker normally and so certain things don't support this browser like github for example but this is a very fast browser because it kind of uses a server to process a lot of the information. And so there are things in Browser Bench that I have tried and you can't really see Jetstream 2 operating, but um, Speedometer, you can see that's going very fast. And then Motion Mark, a graphics thing, um, that is going very well as well. And so this is my github page you can see you now there's Rad desk os and all that sort of thing but this is a very fast browser if you want to get the most out of your pie and it comes with Rad desk os and so this is just the normal office software that you can get in raspberry pi os it's a very common thing and it comes in the deluxe version but not the regular version you can easily install it though and so it is just a nice thing um, you can, you know, this is a word processor and there's other things. Calc is a spreadsheet program and there are other things like that. And then if you want to print your stuff, you can use the print settings, which is a new thing in the Raspberry Pi OS that came in December. And so, you know, there's some things here. You can use these instead of sudo apt install if you want to install something that's included as well and so there's some customizations that I made I changed the mouse cursor I changed the theme here but that is about what Raz Desk OS is so it's kind of you know if you're new to the Pi and you don't really know how to do some things you can install them here and so that is a tour of Raz Desk OS. I hope you enjoyed this operating system and until next time we will see you next time and make sure to subscribe if you liked this video. Until next time.